Playing ball and riding a bicycle are normal childhood activities, but for some children it is a challenge. Today I'm going to speak with pediatrician Dr. Stephen Glicken. We're here at the Dessen Woman and Children's Center. And first of all, thank you Dr. Glicken for taking time out of your day to speak with us. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Here on Health Check, we always like to cover things that are appropriate for the area. And today we'd like to ask you about childhood asthma. First of all, what is asthma? Okay. It's hard to give a really short definition, but asthma is a disease that tends to recur, often related to allergy, often related to infections, where there's difficulty getting air out of the lungs. That's, that's the main hallmark of it. Alrighty, and what would be some of the symptoms that maybe a parent could look for in a child that they don't know if they have asthma, that they need treatment. So what are the symptoms? Okay, the earliest symptom, and pretty much every child will have it, will be a cough that just persists, especially at nighttime. Okay. After a certain period of time, they may develop wheezing, which is a high whistling type of sound that you hear when the child is breathing out. They may also produce a lot of phlegm and have a tendency to get lung infections. Okay, so now if a parent does see that in a child and they seek out to come to you, a pediatrician, what, is there a diagnostic test or is it just the symptoms where you diagnose this? There isn't a test for it. Um, you can do what are called pulmonary function tests, which will show the obvious difficulty getting air out of the lungs. But most of the time, the physical examination will tell you what you need to know. After that, you may want to do allergy testing on a child if it's particularly difficult to control. Okay, is there a particular age child that this affects at the earliest? Absolutely not. This can happen at any age, and it's a real headache when you're dealing with a child under one year of age who has asthma because it's difficult to make the diagnosis in those kids. Okay, and then finally, what would you do to treat this? We do a lot of things to treat it. Uh, we use medications, and the most typical medications that we use are albuterol, which is sort of a hormonal medication that relaxes the passages in the lungs. We usually also use a steroid, either in oral or inhaled form, for a short enough period of time that it doesn't cause problems, and Singular, which many parents are familiar with. We also make changes in the environment, and probably the worst environmental factor is smoking. 50% of children are exposed to other people's cigarette smoke, and it has a terrible effect on asthma. And then we look at other possible allergens and uh, irritations. Okay, and then I guess if left untreated, the child can be, have severe problems as well. Untreated, it can get progressively worse and cause problems by itself and due to infections that they're prone to. Okay, well thank you, doctor. If you need to um, ask doctor any more questions, you could certainly reach him at the Dessen Woman and Children's Center. For this week's Health Check, I'm Deb Lissant.